Hey there everybody, in this Scratch project we're going to make a dance party. We're going to use some custom blocks that we haven't used before. We're going to code at least four different custom blocks for dance moves. We're going to uh, code at least five different keys to do some dance moves. Of course we're going to add some background and you're more than welcome to add some music. So once we get into Scratch and we title it up here, call it dance, all right, then we're going to want to bring in a sprite. And so if we hit choose a sprite, all right, you can hover over these different ones and you can see that a lot of them are dancing already. So when I press people, um, I'm going to use D money here because he's got some moves. All right, so I've already got D money loaded. And Inside the customs, we can see there's all kinds of different customs. So I'm going to bring that a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to do is create a wobble. So it's going to look like this. Whenever I press W on the keyboard, it's going to wobble back and forth. So let me just stop that. All right. So we're going to stop, stop wobbling, D-Money. We're going to use this right here, and I'm going to change it down to a W, just like that. And we're just going to kind of copy this. And so then I'm going to go into repeat 10 times, and then I'm going to make a block. And this is where we call it wobble. Now, since I already have it, I'm not going to, I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So then once you name a block, then it's right here under the pink. And I dragged it over and I have it right there. So then I have to define the wobble because once you make it, then you have to define what it is. All right. So what I defined a wobble to be was to get into the motions and then turn 15 degrees, wait a quarter second, turn the other way, 30 degrees, wait, and so it looks like that. So there's one wobble. Now when I put it to repeat 10 times, then you can see that repeats 10 times. All right. So one of the other things I can do is, and I'll give you the example of doing a dab. Okay, so same kind of thing. I went into my blocks, I made a block, I named it dab. And then what I have here is something that looks like this. So when I press dab, it looks like that. Okay. Now, I have the dab repeating 10 times inside of the, the, um, the block right here. Now, in the last one, I had it over here. You know, depending on what you want to do, you can repeat it here or you can just repeat it here. So what it looks like when I do that is I can go here, here, and now when I dab, it looks like that. And when I hit the D, then he does it 10 times. All right, and actually, oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna take that last part off. Okay. All right. So again, same kind of thing. I was in the events, and I grabbed um, the when pressed, and I used D for dab. I use the repeat, called a dab, and then I switched costumes. So that is under looks, and then right here where it says switch costumes. So when I go into costumes for D Money here, you can see there's all kinds of different costumes that we can flip back and forth from. So I have them flipping back from the DM freeze to the stance. And so it happens so fast. It's kind of like one of those like flip books that you guys made when, when you were little, I'm sure. Um, then you can flip back and forth and he can do those dance moves. All right. There it is. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is then you can just 
you can add, um, let's see, I've got, let me zoom out a little bit. So I've got all kinds of different dance moves that they're doing. You can even combine different types of um, blocks. So he, we can wobble, slide, and jump whenever this sp space bar is hit. So we did the wobble. Slide is this one right here, right? Just slide to the right, slide to the left. And then it looks just like that. All right. So you can do a combination of those. You can use uh, someone else. And then finally, oh, yeah, we want to add somewhere where he's dancing. Um, how about in the front of the classroom? There we go. That looks good. Or we can hit surprise. Nope, that's not cool. A graph. No. We don't want him to fall off the pier. Dancing in the desert. Ah, oh, there we go. Dancing on stage. That's way better. All right. So, again, I'd like you to create four different dance moves. Um, when you save it, all right, and you go to C Project, make sure that you put in what your different keys do, uh, either in the notes or the instructions. So I would press, you know, the space bar, um, slides, and does all kinds of things. So, um, all right. Feel free to use some of the dance moves that I've created that you can see here, uh, but also be creative. Make your own. Thanks for watching.